Hello, I'm Mark Kerouac, President and CEO of Bay State Health. This is the first of what I expect will be many regular video messages from me about the state of preparedness at Bay State Health for the outbreak of infections caused by the new coronavirus, a disease we call COVID-19. Since the first cases were reported from China last December, Bay State Health's teams have been preparing first to screen and isolate patients. As we learn more about how the virus spreads, we've implemented policies around visitation and meetings. We've set up an incident command center under the leadership of Dr. Andrew Artenstein, our chief physician executive, who also is an infectious disease physician and recognized expert on the spread of novel infectious agents. That team is considering new information on a daily basis, adjusting policies as needed, dealing with issues brought forward by frontline employees, and anticipating the course of the epidemic here in Western Mass. We've organized information about the virus on our public website, baystatehealth.org. We continue to learn more and more about this infection, and it's now clear that someone infected by coronavirus can carry a large amount of virus in the nose and mouth, often well before they feel very sick. Because infectious individuals are so hard to detect, and because the entire population is not immune to this new virus, we expect that we'll soon be dealing with a large number of patients with suspected or confirmed infection. Therefore, it's important for all of us to stay informed about how to protect ourselves to minimize this threat. We know that the virus travels on airborne droplets when someone sneezes or coughs. It also can be spread when an infected person touches their face and then shakes hands. It may also be transmitted from frequently touched surfaces. Most people who get the infection will get only a mild illness, like a cold, but the elderly and frail are at increased risk of severe infection, requiring hospitalization or even critical care. Frequent hand washing, avoiding direct personal contact, and avoiding large crowds are at the center of how to protect yourself. Bay State Health has developed screening protocols for our medical practices and emergency rooms that are the front doors of our health system. These are designed to help keep people with mild illness at home and to protect our employees who are evaluating them. We also have developed an isolation unit at Bay State Medical Center where we plan to admit the initial confirmed cases. We'll be continuously anticipating and likely expanding our capabilities to care for patients as the epidemic unfolds. We also are paying close attention to public health measures being implemented at the state and national level. We support measures to eliminate events where crowds gather, such as parades and sporting events, and we encourage everyone to think of ways to avoid large face-to-face -face meetings when possible. No one knows for sure how extensive the coronavirus outbreak will be in Western Mass, but we know that countries that do not suspect the presence of the virus or do not prepare can become overwhelmed. We're determined to avoid that scenario here at Bay State Health. I'm pleased with the extensive preparations that have gone on thus far and with the energy and ingenuity of the team that's come together to combat this threat. I appreciate that the emergence of a new infection can cause fear and that unfounded theories about its spread and containment are all over the internet and social media sites. It's incumbent on Bay State Health as the recognized leader and definitive health resource for Western Mass to provide a measured and caring response that's consistent with our traditional values and our mission of advancing care and enhancing lives. I appreciate your staying informed and sharing this information with your friends and family.